Hey everyone, this is Matt Pilates with Kendall, myself, for TC Fit. Um, so make sure you have a mat today and then uh, stand up onto your feet so we're gonna start into a standing position. So a little bit of balance work. Now, I'm the mirror image. I'm gonna have you start balancing on your right foot and then draw your left knee to your chest. So while you're holding this here, um, getting a good stretch through your groin, your hip flexor, your hamstrings, and then your standing leg, your right leg, squeeze your glute. That's gonna help with balance. Now go ahead and release your leg, but keep your knee about hip distance, or I'm sorry, uh, the height of your hip. Now from here, keep your hip stable. You're gonna open up, so you're twisting from your hip joint, your hip socket, and then return back to a parallel. And again, opening up and return. I'll give you a closer view. So again, my hips are staying completely stable and my foot is in line with my knee. So think of your left leg as a door hinge, opening and closing. Let's do four more. Last three. And two. Last one. Good, replace your foot back down, same thing, other side. Find your balance first, then draw your knee to your chest. Now my mat has a little bit more cushion to it, so which is gonna make it more challenging for balance. Same thing if you're on carpet. So it's gonna make your ankles wobble a little bit more, essentially just give you a little bit more challenge. And now go ahead and release. Knee is the height of your hip, and then we open and close open and close. We're still focusing on your balanced leg, which is your left leg, and squeeze your glute. Belly button in toward your spine, tall posture. You can always hold on to a chair or a dresser, or whatever is around you. We have four more. Good, last three. Functional exercises, two. Balancing and talking at the same time, last one. Good, set it back down. Last one, you're gonna switch over to your left leg. Now, keep your left foot flexed and you're gonna lift and then go into a hamstring curl. So it's slow and controlled. We're working your quadriceps and your hip flexors and your hamstrings and your glutes. So you lift up to the height that you're able to. Three more. Almost there, last two. You'll feel this in your hips, your standing leg, last one. Good, switch to the other side, same thing. Now as you're bending your leg, keep your knees in line with one another. Also same thing from the side, so that you are getting a direct hamstring curl, meaning your knee isn't coming forward or back too far. Last exercise here standing, then we'll bring it down to all fours. Two more. Last one. Beautiful, okay guys, go ahead and bring it down into your quadruped position. And we'll do some all fours breathing. So neutral spine, shoulders over your hands. Take a deep inhale, expand your rib cage. And now exhale, knit your ribs back and toward one another. And again, deep inhale. And exhale, drawing your belly button in toward your spine. Deep inhale. And exhale. Engaging your transverse abdominals. Last one. And exhale. Good, cat cow. Rounding your mid back up toward the ceiling. And inhale to extend, allowing your belly to hang. Exhaling to round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Do two more. And 
and extend. Last one. And extend. Good, back to your neutral spine. Draw your knees out so you're into a modified plank here. Just squeeze your glutes. Your shoulders pull up and out so you're creating your flat back. Hold it here. Belly button in toward your spine. Hands are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Let's go into push-ups. Dip it down from your elbows and exhale, press. Dipping down. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Two more. Exhale, press. Last one. Press it up. Hold it here. Lift your knees off so we're into a full high plank. Squeeze your glutes. One long line from head to toe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's think back to a child's pose. Stretch it out, reach your arms long. Or you can always place your hands to your forehead, creating a little pillow. Deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth like you're blowing through a straw. Deep inhale. And now as you exhale, roll it back up one vertebrae at a time. And head is the last to return. Good. Let's go into a seated position. Feet are flexed. And you can always grab a pillow um, to place underneath your bottom or bend your knees so that you can sit up a little bit taller. So working on posture, placing your hands to your thighs, we're gonna get a flexion forward. Take an inhale. As you exhale, nod your chin toward your chest, rounding it forward, compressing your abs. Take an inhale at the bottom. And now exhale to roll it back up one vertebrae at a time as the last to return. Take an inhale to repair. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, stay. And exhale to roll it back up. Two more. Deep inhale. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, stay. Exhale to roll it back up. Last one. Deep inhale. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, stay. And exhale to roll it back up, right into your saw, reaching your arms out to a T position. Inhale, we twist to your right. Flip your back hand, exhale, round it forward. Reach your pinky finger to the outside of your baby toe, and then roll it back up, flipping your hand back, and then return back center, other side. Inhale, twist. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, stacking your spine. Exhale, return, other side. Inhale, twist. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, stack. Exhale, return. Inhale, twist. Exhale, round. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, return. One more each. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, return. Last one. Inhale, twist. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, restocking your spine and exhale to return. Beautiful, go ahead and take a seat to the front edge of your mat and we'll go into your half oblique roll back. Reaching your arms forward, flexing over your legs. As you inhale, roll it away, lengthening from your hip flexors and exhale, drawing your body back over your legs. Inhale, roll it away, draw your shoulders down and exhale to return. Inhale, roll it away. Exhale, belly button toward your spine. Inhale, roll it away. And exhale. Let's do three more. Inhale. And exhale. Last two, and we'll go into our full roll up. Last one. Good, now lengthen your legs, flex your feet, Roll it away on your inhale. Exhale as you get halfway down and then reach your arms up by your ears. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, flexing forward. One smooth, continuous motion to reach over your legs. Inhale, roll it away. And exhale to return. Good. Keep it going. A couple of options here. You can do your half flexion forward, so your crunch position, or you can do a half roll back 
with your legs straight. Now gang, if you're at the point where you want to add more challenge, bring your hands to your forehead. So as you do this, just lightly placing the, the back of your hands to your forehead, elbows stay wide. So this is making it a lot more challenging for your abs and try to prevent yourself from gripping from your quads and your hip flexors as you flex forward. Finish out one more full roll down and roll up. Good. Once you are done, bend your knees, draw your heels down, flip your toes up, roll it halfway back, little pulses here. Exhale to pulse back. Doing good. Last five, four, three, two, hold it back. Bring your right leg up to your tabletop. Set it back down, other side, left leg lifts. And down, right leg, and down, and left. So you're gonna start to feel this burning in your obliques, maybe kind of that upper part of your abdominals. One more each. Last one, clasp your hands together. Think of a Russian twist. So versus bringing your arms down, keep your arms horizontal like they're gliding against a tabletop. So front view, you're gonna go a little bit past your shoulders. Now if you look at my legs, what I want you to prevent is from twisting from side to side. So you wanna keep your legs stable too. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, center out, slowly roll it back down, slow, 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 slow. And now relax your upper body down. Reach your arms down by your hips, feet are flat down to the ground and knees are bent for your hip rolls. Take an inhale. As you exhale, peel your pelvis off one vertebrae at a time. This is gonna feel good for your hip flexors. Take an inhale, stay. Exhale to roll it back down through your mid back, low back, and then back to neutral. Take an inhale. Exhaling to peel. Inhale, stay. Exhale to roll it back down, articulating through your spine, and back to neutral. Take an inhale. Exhaling to peel. Inhale, stay, and exhale to roll back down. Two more here, take an inhale, prepare. Exhaling to peel. Inhale, stay, and exhale to roll it back down. Good, last one, take an inhale. Exhaling to peel. Inhale, stay. And exhale to roll back down through your imprint and back to your neutral. Good. Okay, gang, we're gonna go right into your hundred. So we're gonna do a little bit more of an advanced version and then I'll give you some modifications. So what that means, we're gonna start with your legs up to the ceiling. You're gonna do an inhale for five. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lower your legs just a little bit. So we're gonna do that five times and then start to bring your legs back up on that last half, the last five, okay? You can always keep your knees bent as another option or feet flat down to the ground. All right, let's get you prepped here. Uh, take an inhale, neutral spine. As you exhale, tilt your pelvis, tuck it under, find your imprint, small back close to your mat. Inhale, one leg goes up to the tabletop. Exhale, the other comes to meet. Go ahead and send your legs straight up to the ceiling. Take an inhale and exhale, flex it forward. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, no. Exhale, send your legs a little lower. Inhale, two, three, 
four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 50. Heading back up. And exhale, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 70. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 90. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, 100. Inhale, stay, and exhale to set your upper body back down. Keep your legs straight up to the ceiling. Give yourself a break for a second for your head. We'll go right into your scissors. Take an inhale. Exhale, flexing forward. And we scissors. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Eye gazes forward. Just lightly holding on to the back of your knees or down by your ankles. Two more each. Last one. Bending your knees back to your tabletop and exhale to set your upper body back down. Keep your legs up, bring your arms out to a T, palms of the hands facing up. Good 90 degree angle with your legs. Waist whittler, you're gonna tilt from side to side. If we think of a clock, the motion is about a two o'clock to a 10 o'clock. Feet stay in line with your knees. One side of your hip is gonna lift off a little bit but I want your shoulder blades flush against your mat. This is a great one for your spine, but also for your abs. We'll stay here for about another 10 seconds. And we'll go into some extension exercises. Three, two, one, good. From here, just pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little knee hug. Stretching out your mid back, your low back. You can just gently rock from side to side. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Close your eyes if you'd like. Deep inhale and exhale. One more breath pattern here. All right, gently rock yourself off to one side to roll it back up, and we're gonna come onto your belly for extension. So legs are gonna start a little bit wider than your mat and turned out. Okay, so arms to your goal post position. We're gonna start with your breaststroke prep. So first one, arms out to your goal post. Take an inhale, squeeze your glutes, press your pelvis down into your mat. Exhale, lifting up to a low hover, and then inhale to lower back down. Exhaling to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You're putting just a little bit of pressure down into the ground with your forearms. Engaging your lats. Exhale to lift. Drawing your shoulders down your back. Exhale, lift. Still squeezing your glutes. You have two more. And now last one. Let's come into a full swan dive. As you exhale, pressing all the way up if you can, drawing your abs in, so not here, but you wanna pull up, and then lower back down. And again, take an inhale, exhale, pressing up, head stays in line with your spine, squeeze your glutes, and inhale to lower. Two more, exhale, press. And inhale, lower. One more, and then we're gonna go into our rocking. Exhale, press. It's been a little bit since we've done this. Now, gang, as you inhale, rock it forward, lift your legs up, and then exhale to press back up. You're gonna feel this in your glutes and your back. Inhale, rock it forward, and exhaling to press. Inhale, rock. Exhale, press. Try to lift your legs as high as you can, so glutes and hamstrings, and lift. Two more. And lift, almost there, last one. And exhale. 
and inhale to lower back down. Good, double leg kick. Now, your head turns to one side, bring your hands to the back of your, of your back. Your knees are bent. You're gonna do kicks here. So you're gonna do one, two, three, spine stay stable. Now reach your legs and your arms long, your legs open and close, and then your head turns to the other side. Three kicks. One, two, three. Extending up, open, close, and lower. Kick one, two, three. Extend, open, close, lower. One, two, three. Extend, open, close, lower. One more each side. Two, three. Extend, open, close, lower. Last one. One, two, three. Extend, open, close, and go ahead and set your upper body back down. Let's stretch out your back. Find your child's pose. Big toes together, knees separated. Either arms long or hands to your forehead. Just relaxing here. And now go ahead and roll it back up one vertebrae at a time has the last to return. Okay, let's go into a half kneeling position. Now I'm gonna have you send your right leg straight, and then you're gonna reach your arms straight up above your head. You're gonna tilt up and over to the, your leg, and then return back center, so obliques. Exhale up and over. Inhale, return, head stays in line with your spine. Another option here. You can always crisscross your arms in front. Two more. Last one. Good, now the other direction. Up and over, away from your leg, and return. You'll find maybe you need to decrease your range of motion just to find your balance. Two more. Last one. Let's give you a stretch. Reach your left arm up and over and toward your leg. Get that good fascia line stretching. A little cramp in my hip. <laughs> and then return. Good, let's do the other side. Send your left leg straight. Reach your arms straight up. And exhale up and over toward your leg and return. Exhale up and over. While still targeting your abs with this. Tall posture, we have three more. And two. Last one. You'll feel it in your shoulders as well and up and over to the other side. It's also endurance of your shoulders. And we're also working your medial glute of your left leg too, but also focusing on squeezing. One more. Let's give you your stretch. Set your left hand down, reach up and over. And go ahead and restack your spine. Good, let's bring it back to a high plank position. Shoulders over your hands, one long line. Hold it here. Now draw one knee to your chest. Hold, hold, hold. Set it back down and other side. Knee to chest and hold. Now a couple of options, you can always scale down to your knees and hold. Keep going on your end. Now as you pull your knee to your chest, round. Round and tuck, and then lengthen through your spine. Other side, round and tuck, and extend. Doing good. Tucking your pelvis under, the more you flex forward, the, more, the harder your abs are gonna work. One more each. Last one. Set it back down. Awesome job. Sink it back to a child's pose. Stretch it out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. 
deep inhale. And now as you exhale, roll it back up one vertebrae at a time as the last to return. Lastly, place your hands back behind your head, draw your elbows wide, and just nod your chin in toward your chest, stretching the back of your neck. And then return your head back up and release. Awesome work today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Matt Pilates.